Globally, people live in challenging environments with limited access to water supply and sanitation. About 785 million people did not have access to at least basic water services. More than 2 million people worldwide did not have access to basic sanitation. These communities rely on small natural sources of fresh water such as river, lakes, streams, and ponds for food and sanitation. Fauna, such as many species of freshwater snails, can be found in these moist environments due to their amphibious nature, which pose a threat to plant life, animals, and humans. Freshwater snails carry cystosomes, the blood flow parasitic worms that cause cystosomiasis in humans. The cystosoma larvas develop in snails before it's being released into fresh water where they encounter human's body. They then enter the human body by penetrating the skins, after which travel to the bloodstream, making its way to human's organs, complete their life cycles, lay eggs, and spread them throughout the body. The larva then embeds itself into the intestines and develops into an adult, produce thousands of eggs that are excreted in phases and enters environments where the eggs hatch and the life cycle is repeated. Persons just infected with cystosomes will experience itchings and scabies. When the body temperature is rising up, the infected persons also suffering from fever, chills, headache, swellings of the throat and airway. When a parasite stays longer in blood, limbed, and bile for as long as two months, the infected person will suffer from confused speech, difficulty with movement, orientations in space, and convulsion. WHO considers cystosomiasis to be the second most socioeconomic catastrophic parasitic condition. It's affecting close to 240 million people globally and spread to nearly worldwide. How can we avoid cystosomiasis without destroying nature? It's quadri A. First, avoid unnecessary contact to fresh water. Second, assist medication. Third, awareness of boiling drinking water. And fourth, access to waste excretion.